It's been ages since I visited him. Me too. He'd hate what happened to you. I'm not so keen about it either. You'd probably want to kill that scumbag with his bare hands. Except, it doesn't make things right, does it? Don't you want him to suffer? There's no amount of revenge that could ever take this nightmare away. I should have been there for you. Like you say, it's my fault. I shouldn't let him in. I didn't mean that. I was angry. What I did to you? It's disgusting. Aaron told me how down you've been about this, Rob. But we can't let it eat away at us. All I can do is try and get on with my life, or else he's won, hasn't he? How can he be so brave? Trust me, I'm not. But don't you see, I have to find something good in all of this. I think Dad would get that. Look. Dad might not be here for you anymore. But I am. We can talk to Diane together. It, it makes more sense you staying here with the extra room and... You can keep an eye on me, right? I get to be the big brother you deserve. So, I've got a lot of making up to do, wouldn't you? You won't hear me arguing. So you keep moving back in then? Oh, only if it's OK with you and Liv. Yeah, of course it is. Tell her. She needs to be around her family. You are welcome here any time, you know that. I'm glad you talked to her. I'm glad you made me see some sense. Been an idiot. Arrogant, judgmental. Can I get that in writing? I'll get it tattooed across my forehead if that's what it takes. <laughs> oh, please take him up on that. No, I'm happy to settle for... no more threats or stupid attempts at revenge. Deal. 